Now she is armed and the thief is coming and he's trying to steal the bike. And it doesn't work. Okay, let's have a quick look at the installation of the alarm. So this is a 2500 yen alarm system from Amazon, which is pretty much the cheapest one that I could find. As you can see, there are several parts in the box. The installations were completely in Japanese, so I did not read any of that. The alarm comes with two remotes that you can use. That squarish looking plastic piece there is the, what I would say, gyro, which measures the movement of the bike and basically sets off the alarm. That red round thing with a yellow cap is the horn or the speaker bit and then you can see it comes with two stickers and all the cables attached. The cables only basically have one white plug that you can put together for the horn and then you have black and red wires for the battery of the motorcycle. You can see here that the device comes with a little battery and I think this battery is for the remote and maybe for the gyro sensor so that you do not draw power off the motorcycle's battery for the alarm. The device is connected to the alarm that once the alarm sounds, it will actually draw power from the bike. I think this speaker output is about 125 decibel, so the alarm is pretty loud. So the red and black cable did not come with connectors for motorcycle battery, so that's the only thing that I actually put on, but just for my convenience. I guess you could splice in anywhere but the way you see that the BMW is designed, the battery is right there on top of the fake tank, which is actually the airbox underneath. And that's where I taped all of the parts on. So I actually decided to solder the tips on, which I believe you don't actually have to do. You can just clamp them together. Now here you can see the airbox under the fake tank, under the fairing bit. The battery is right there next to the handlebar, that's why I decided to put the connecting copper pieces onto the end of the cables because I connected the alarm directly to the battery. In the airbox there's like this nice flat piece which was perfect for sticking the gyro device. This is not really a very detailed how-to video but I guess you guys won't be buying the exact same alarm and you guys won't be riding the exact same bike so this is just a short entertaining video on how to put an alarm on a motorcycle and I guess it's pretty much the same thing for all the bikes. Just make sure as you can guess don't go too close to the engine so you don't melt any of the parts and I'm not sure if that device actually has to be horizontal vertical or in whatever shape and form you have can put it on. So yeah, I like to do stuff neat and tidy. Always try to use zip ties, shorten the cables, otherwise you're creating a huge mess for future installations. There were two stickers in the package and I have to say that the horn one fell off pretty fast. <laughs> I guess the vibration killed the sticker. And once again, we zip tie all the extra excess cables together. So we've got it armed and the thief is coming. There he is. Looks a bit dodgy. Nice BMW. And... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That will make him run away. But it stops. Why does it stop? It shouldn't stop. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> it seems that... When he sits on it and it's straight, the kind of gyro thingy is resetting. So when he got off, it seems to be reset again. Can you just slap the seat kind of hard? Yeah, that's what I tried at home. Yeah. Okay, two and a half thousand yen. It's not, not too awesome, but I guess it'll do the trick. With all the bikes that I see on Facebook stolen every day or YouTube videos of my dirt bike's gone. So not, not in Japan, right? 
No, not in Japan. I know. I know it's overkill. But it's nice to have like deferring and stuff. Yeah, I think so. Deferring and you need to leave it somewhere on the street or Yeah. And, and just to stop silly, silly bugger trying to climb on it like they did with mine. Yeah. You know, and yeah. they knocked it over, that would have I'm sure that would have stopped them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of tempted to, to get one. So this alarm thing actually has a panic button. Let me let me go around the curve first before I drop my keys. <laughs> so the alarm has a panic button and I can even use the panic button while I am still riding. You know the system is not so sophisticated. Let's try that before I blow my ears out. It actually doesn't feel so loud. That was it. I guess that wasn't really exciting. <laughs> Go on longer, it doesn't. That's that's strange. 